Okay, uh, good afternoon, good morning, wherever it is for you. Uh, today we're going to be talking about symmetry, and if you're following along in my notes, it's 9-5. Pretty easy assignment. Uh, I don't think most people will have problems with it. A little bit of vocabulary that you need to learn, but after you get that down, it's uh, pretty easy. So, that being said, let's talk about a few things. Uh, going all the way back to probably maybe first or second grade, you probably learned about symmetry, right? Symmetry, things that cut things in half where they're reflected across that line, right? So that heart has a, a line of symmetry, right? Other things can have other types of symmetry, right? So how many lines of symmetry does this, I don't know, fat plus sign have, right? A lot of people would miss, would get the easy ones, right? They have a line of symmetry here. They have a line of symmetry here, right? So there's one, two, three, four, and not five because that's the same line. So four lines of symmetry, right? So that has a four lines of symmetry. Now, we're also going to talk about this thing called roto um, rotational symmetry, right? So notice if you take, so let's say that's the center of that shape, right? And you rotate it 90 degrees, you will get the exact same shape again, right? So if I took a square, uh, I need to bring up something here. If I took a square, actually, let's do a let's do a pentagon, right? And pretend that's regular, right? How many lines of symmetry it has? Well, here's a nice little fact: if it's regular, if a shape is regular, the number of sides is the number of lines of symmetry. So that's nice to know, right? So the number of sides is the number of lines of symmetry if it's regular. That's only true when it's regular, all right? So how many lines of symmetry does this have? Five, you can see them, right? One, two, ah, uh, three, four, and where's the last one? Now oh, here it is, five, right? Five lines of symmetry, all right? Now, there's this other thing called rotational symmetry, all right? So if we look at it like this, right? Every time you rotate this shape, either clockwise or counterclockwise, right? There's 360 degrees. Every time you rotate this, what is 360 divided by five? Uh, what is that, 72, I believe? Yeah, 72 degrees. Every time you multiple, rotate this thing 72 degrees, it's going to be the same shape again, right? So if you took this whole shape and you rotated it 72 degrees, you would get the same shape again, right? So it has this thing called rotational symmetry, rotational symmetry, right? And it has a special word, and I want to make sure I use the correct word, and I think it's magnitude, right? All right, so when things have rotational symmetry, right? It's um, it's an order of mag. Uh, so the it has four orders of symmetry, right? So order is the number. So let's write that down. Order is the number of rotations it has, and then the magnitude. The magnitude is going to be the degrees, right? So let's look at this one here. This one has every time you it has one two, three, four, right? It can rotate four ways and be the same, right? So it's an order, excuse me, it's an order four, and its magnitude is, the easiest way to calculate magnitude is 360 degrees divided by four is 90. So it's every, it's 90 degrees, right? So the magnitude is 90, all right? So here we go. So let's do this one. Does this appear to have a line of symmetry? Assuming it's a, re it's assume it's regular, right? If it looks regular, it probably is, right? It does it have lines of symmetry? Yes. Example A. Yes. All right. If so, draw them. All right. Well, that's easy. One, two, three, four. And I wish I could have drawn that one a little bit better. Let's try to draw it a little bit better. Something like that, right? So yes. How many lines of symmetry? Five lines. All right. Now. Let's also, if in a, in a shape like these regular shapes, let's also talk about those other two things, right? Although it doesn't say it in notes, let's do it anyways. 
does it have rotational symmetry? Yes, yes, it does, right? How many line, how many, uh, what's the order, what do they call it? Uh, yeah, what's, yeah, that's right. What's the order of symmetry, right? So how many of those does it have? Well, if it has five sides, right, it's going to have five orders of symmetry. And then what's the other question? What's the magnitude of symmetry? To find the magnitude, all you do is you take 360 divided by the order. So 360 divided by 5 is 72 degrees. So the magnitude is 72 degrees. So it has five lines of symmetry, right? The order is 5, which is the same as the number of lines of symmetry. And its magnitude is 72 degrees. All right? Letter B, does this have a line of symmetry? Yes, it does. One. Right, if you cut them in half with like a hacksaw, right, it's reflected across that line, right? So that does have one, yes? Next one, the Z. <laughs> I kind of, you know, I, I'm doing these lessons right now because my students are on coronavirus break, right? And I remember some of these problems like C. We would have these big long conversations about C as whether or not that has a line of symmetry. I think the answer is no. But I always like these conversations in my class because we start having these arguments about who's right and wrong and we get a lot of learning out of it. But the answer is no. Some people might think you're trying to cut it like that or something like that. It doesn't work, right? There is no lines of symmetry. All right. All right. Example two. State whether this figure has rotational symmetry. If so, locate the center of symmetry and the order and the magnitude. All right. Well, here we go. Well, here's the center, right? Can I rotate it and make it the same? Yes. Well, since it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, it has seven points. You could rotate point one to point two, point two to point three, right? And you could do that eight times. So does it have rotational? Yes, it does, right? We already gave the center. What's the order? So it's an eighth order. Eighth order is just a big word for you can spin it eight ways and make it the same, right? And what's the magnitude? Okay, so remember, 360 divided by the order, right, is what, 45? So the a 45 degree magnitude. Pretty easy. Not hard at all. Good lesson to do if you have to do it online. All right, letter B. Does this have rotational symmetry. Now listen, it does have a line of symmetry right there, right? But does it have rotational symmetry? Well, if you rotate it 360 degrees, yes, right? But it really doesn't have, you can't rotate it 90 or any other way to make it the same. So does it have rotational symmetry? No, right? And if it's no, it has none. All right, next one. Letter C. Does this have symmetry? Well, you know, I'm just going to play for a minute, but, you know, I would always try weird things like that. Does that reflect? I don't think so, right? Anything else? Can we try other things? You know, I, I, I wouldn't, what I would question you on is don't be real fast about it. Think about it for a minute because maybe you have to think outside the box, right? The center's here, right? Could I rotate this and make it the same? Right? It doesn't have any lines of symmetry, but it does have, yes, it does have rotational symmetry. It does have rotational. Because picture this. If you took that point and you rotate it all the way around and put it there, right? If you moved it 180 degrees and put it there, it would be the same picture again. If we, if we were sitting in my class together, the easiest way to detect, I, you know, I can't do this on a computer, but... If you were sitting with this piece of paper in your hand, take your piece of paper and rotate your piece of paper 180 degrees, right? Rotate your piece of paper 180 degrees. You'll notice you get the exact same picture. So does it have rotational symmetry? Yes, it does, right? So what is the center? The center of rotation is here, right? What else do we need? State the order. How many orders? You can... This is a... In a, an interesting question. You're, you're seeing me hesitate here for a minute. But this has two, right? It has the one that it started with. So that's the first one. So two orders. So it has the beginning one, the one that you began with, plus the one that you rotated 180 degrees. So it has two orders. And what's the magnitude? 
the magnitude is 360 divided by the two that it has, which is 180 degrees. Pretty easy, not hard at all. All right, next section. Let's look at these words. Three-dimensional fixtures has planal symmetry, right? So if you look at like a, uh, yeah, you know what a cylinder, actually a sphere is a good thing, right? If you cut a sphere right there, it has planar symmetry, right? So what you're saying is you're just rotating it, you're reflecting it three-dimensionally, right? You're rotating, you're reflecting it three-dimensionally. All right, so the next thing we need to talk about, does it have planar symmetry? And so like we said for the sphere, if you cut the sphere directly in half, the two halves of the sphere are re reflections of each other, right? So just like this sphere, uh, sorry, the cylinder, if you cut the cylinder straight down the middle there, the top part and the bottom part are reflections of each other, right? So this does have planar symmetry. So, so the cylinder has planar symmetry. And it also has this thing called rotational symmetry. Now, rotational means if you have a line that you can throw through it, right? So that imaginary line, and you can rotate it around that line, that is called axis of symmetry, right? Axial symmetry. So it does have an axis of symmetry too. We're not gonna get into the rotation of that, but it does have an ax um, axial symmetry, right? All right, so it is actually both. So it has planar symmetry because you can cut it in half and have two reflections of each other, right? And it has axial symmetry because you can rotate it a uh, around that line and it'll be the same. All right, next problem, letter B. Does the letter N, the three-dimensional N, have planar symmetry? Yes, it does. If you cut it down right here, right, where that red line is, and you slice it right through there, right, you would have planar symmetry. So it does have planar symmetry. Now, the much harder question is, does it have axial symmetry? Does it have an axis of symmetry? I'm, the great question, right, at first glance, you might say no, right? But if you, if you, if you, let me draw this three dimensionally. If I, if I put a line through it right there, right? So think of this three dimensionally, right? I know we're looking in two dimensional space, but think of this three dimensionally, right? If you started rotating it around that line, right? In fact, take your paper, flip it upside down. You'll notice that you get the letter N again, right? The letter N upside down is the letter N. And at first, you may not believe that, but it does work, right? So it does have planar symmetry, and it does have an axis of symmetry. So it does have both, all right? All right, let's do this some more of these, right? Does this have planar symmetry? Absolutely, right here, right? Cutting it just like that. Yes has planar. Does it have an axis of symmetry? Sure, right through here, right? Going around there, right? So it has both. Letter B, planar? Sure, cut it right through the middle, right? Axis, in fact, it has an infinite amount of axis of symmetry. So it's both. All right, next problem. Planar, letter C, does it have a planar symmetry? Sure it does, right here, right? Cut it straight in half right through the plane. The answer is uh, not yes, planar. Learn how to spell planar, right? Does it have an axis of symmetry? Think about it for a minute. Do you think it have an, does, do you think this has an axis of symmetry? Take your piece of paper, rotate it different directions, see if you can make the same shape again. The answer is no, it only has planar. Okay, letter D. For sure it has an ax, uh, planar symmetry, right? You can cut it right through there where I'm drawing that red line, right? So it does have planar. Does it have an axis of symmetry? So if you rotated it here, right? So there's a line going through this. 
and you rotated it, would you make the same shape again? No, because if you rotate it at 180 degrees, you would end up, I'm going to have a hard time drawing this, but it would end up like this, right? The banana would be the opposite direction, right? So the answer is only planar. Next one. Does this have a uh, planar symmetry? Sure, right here. Right? Planar. Does it have an axis of symmetry? Because this is oblong, it's not going to happen, right? Wrong. Look what happens here, right? Look right here. If I drew a line through there, out through there, coming this way, right? And I rotated this 180 degrees, what would happen? I'd get the same shape again, right? So it has planar and it has an axis of symmetry, so it has both. You know, I, I do problem E, then I go back to D, and I'm wondering to myself, did I mess up somewhere, right? Did I, am I not thinking about this the right way? Is there a way to rotate it? I don't think I'm right. I don't think I'm wrong. I think I'm actually right. But if you think there might be axial symmetry on that problem, go ahead and send me a post about it and make your point. If you're right, if you're one of my students and you're right, I'll probably give you extra credit. So, um, all right, next problem. Does this have uh, planar symmetry? Sure, it has tons of it, right? Ones like this, right? You could also do it this way, cutting it like that. Lots of ways. Yes, it has planar. Does it have an axis? Yeah, it has a bunch, right? Right here, it has one. You could rotate it this way. You could also cut it this way, right? You could rotate it around this way. So it has axial too. So it has an axis and it's planar. All right. All right, that's it. Good lesson. Nice, easy lesson for a day that you're at home if you're one of the, my students watching this video during the coronavirus of 2020, all right? But uh, that's what you're going to do. Check on my website for um, assignments on this, but uh, good luck with this. Bye.